And when we get specific, unseen forces will come to our aid. Now, you'll hear me say often, and you can go forward in your guidebook, and you will see, by the way, this is a living guide. So you might want to print it out, but you might want to not print it out because it is updated daily. And you'll see on page 10, Dr. Gerald Bell. He's a speaker. He's an author. He is a sports psychologist, golfers, Olympic athletes. He was Michael Jordan's mind coach at the University of North Carolina. Dean Smith was the physical coach. And I get a, a call from Peter many years ago. I'm going to take 18 people, three adults and 15 scouts to the Grand Tetons. And they're going to go on Monday. I think you sent this to me on Friday or Saturday. We're traveling Saturday night, Sunday, we set up camp, and I share a study that I'd never heard Sunday night and then Monday morning before the scouts go on a 20-mile hike in the Grand Tetons to String Lake. And if they go an extra half mile, they get to go to Bear Paw Lake and come back because it's never crowded on the extra mile, I told the scouts. And I would buy them a steak dinner. Probably shouldn't do that, but in the Million Dollar Cowboy Supper Club right there in Jackson Hole. Can you share what you sent to me, Peter? Because people don't even believe that this could be true. And I had Dr. Bell write the afterword of the book because some people say, oh, you made up that story of meeting Praveen and Genshai in Vienna. No, every word is true. You didn't really meet Dr. Gerald Bell 72 hours, 48 hours after Peter Vidmar introduces you to him. I did. Will you share that story, Peter? Well, I had a chance to speak for Young Presidents Organization many times in my career and uh, my speaking career. YPO is um, an organization where uh, you have to be the CEO of a company before you reach the age of 40. And it has to meet the company has to be of a certain size, minimum size and all that. Um, and then you're kicked out when you're 50. That's why it's called the Young Presidents Organization. I don't know if they have an OPO, Old Presidents Organization. But anyways, um, so I had lectured at these, and he was a lecturer at one of these events. Um, and I was really enthralled by his presentation, so much so that I, I, I took notes. And I, and I remember sharing this with Kevin afterwards. Um, and I'm glad that Kevin put this in the notebook, because I can't remember everything that, that, he, that he wrote down, I, although I did take notes on it. But he said that he did a study of, of I think, 4,000 retired executives and asked them if he could live life all over again what would you do differently? And then he, he kind of put it into little kind of uh, little statements for each one. And number one, he said, and, and you'll see this on your guidebook, I should have taken charge of my life and set my goals. Life is in practice, it's the real thing. And so they would have been more specific, right? We talked about specificity. He said, I would have taken better care of my health. He, what he, he, what he, I think what he wrote was, I threw away my health as if it were trash. That's I what he wrote. All, I, I worked all these years now to, to build my corporate life and to be successful. And now I'm retired and I have health issues and I'm not even enjoying my retirement because I never took care of myself. That's the other one. He, and then, then it goes on and you can read these on a guidebook, but you know, I'd manage my money better. I would have spent more time with my family. And uh, he, he goes on to talk about all of these things. I mentioned that to Kevin and uh, I said, yeah, you, uh, Kevin, you need to look up this, 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 this Dr. Bell because he's got some really powerful material and it's empirical. I mean, it's, this is evidence uh, after, you know, speaking with and talking with all these executives. Um, and, and that was it. I mean, I just shared it with them. I was excited about it because I, I come back from these things all excited and motivated because, I, yeah, I speak at it, but I get to listen to these amazing lecturers and, and presenters to these uh, corporate executives and their families. And it was just a powerful experience. And then I, then I went on my way. I told Kevin about it and didn't think much of it after that. And then Kevin had this experience. Let me share this experience, Peter, and then you're going to hear his words in a video that we recorded by going to Chapel Hill. Um, it's just, it is amazing. In Aspire, um, on page 34 in the Pathfinder chapter, I, I talk about the chances of meeting him on that trail that Monday. 